In this video, we're going to learn how to put a score or any other variable as writing on the screen. I'm not a huge fan of doing this. I actually generally don't like to read video games. I like to just respond to graphics, but it might be useful to you. So here's how we do it. Already, when the bullet object hits the invader object, I'm setting the score to relative plus one, and that's already going to put it up in the title bar. But I would like it to be on the screen. So I'm going to create a new object. And the reason for this is that when I use the draw function on it, which I'll do in a minute, it actually makes the object disappear. So I create a special one called projector, which would help if I spelt right. Pro projector um, object. I'm going to give it a sprite, and it really does not matter what the sprite is because it's going to go invisible. And what I'm going to do is add an event that is um, that it does called draw. And over here, I'm going to tell it what to draw. So it is going to draw, this is actually in the score section. I'm going to say at 1010, which is just up in the top corner, you're going to write the caption score, and then you're going to draw the score. And then let's run it and see what that does. Okay, so I've got no score so far. Oh, I know what I did wrong. There you go, I've got no score at all. In fact, it's not appearing anywhere. It's because I created that projector object, but I forgot to put it in the room because it can't do its job if it's not present. So I go in, I create the projector object, and literally put it anywhere, and now I'm going to run it again. Okay, now because the projector is present, it actually does the projecting. So you'll see that we can't see the projector, but you can see that it's doing its work up there. I want to show you another couple of quick things while I'm here. So I'm going to go into the projector, and I'm actually going to tell it that I want to use, I want to change the presentation of that text. Over here, I've created this font, and it's called Font Zero, and I've just made it a darker font and a bit bigger. Um, and I could make it italic, for instance. In fact, you know what? I think I will. Uh, and there we go. And then on here, I'm going to go down into the draw section, and I'm going to tell it what font to use. Oops, I got that wrong. I drag it across. You'll notice that I'm doing this before I draw the score. I set it to Font Zero. And while I'm in the neighborhood, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to change its color too. So there we go. And I'm going to change the color to, oh, I don't know, green. And now when I watch it, it should have those attributes. Let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, it's in the spot that I told it to be. And it's green and it's italicized. So you can actually make your things a bit more visible like that. And the final thing that I'm going to show you is that we can actually say... When I draw the score, I'm actually going to tell it that I want it to be relative to the player object. So let's just, so player underscore object dot x. So that's the x coordinate of the player object. Now I'm actually going to make it a little bit further across because I don't want it sitting on top of the player object. And I'm going to tell it to be at player object player object y, which is its y coordinate, I'm going to make this one minus 20. So I'm not sure that this is a fantastic piece of game design, but this is available to you. So let's see what this looks like. There we go. So you can see that my score is moving with me so that it might be a place where I see it more easily. I don't love that, but it's there if you want. 